Hi everyone, it's Bruns here and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be talking about a feedback list that I posted on Reddit a few days ago and I asked everybody to just write everything they thought needs fixing in the game, what quality of life changes they think need to happen, buffs, nerfs, and more interactions between demons and survivors. So those are actually the four categories that I split all these suggestions. I have already sent all these to Saber, so hopefully these will get addressed in the new year. So these are the 28 changes, fixes and quality of life improvements that you guys want for the game in 2023. I'm not going to be discussing these in detail, I'm just going to say what people have written and then we can discuss these down in the comments, okay? So we'll start with quality of life changes. A green aura for support characters to show how far shems and amulets will reach. Daily and or weekly challenges to help boost spirit points gain double XP weekends. Survivor's ping system reworked, so we can ping and cancel the ping instantly, for instance. Also to communicate better with teammates, such as asking for help or saying thank you. A colorblind mode. Show shields given on stats page as a separate item or as healing given. Count last person to hit the boss as killing the boss if they desummon early. Option to remove or control aim assist better on console. More lines of dialogue from the survivors or even Linda. More cosmetics and customization for both survivors and demons. Rework Demon's Eyes as it is pointless in its current state. Either increase its range or rework it completely. To be able to see on a friends list how long their session has been going on for. Next category, buffs and nerfs. Increase Support Ash's active ability radius. Dismemberment perks to have a more noticeable effect when removing limbs. Reduce amount of cars, maybe by a third. Next category, fixes. Better collision for both demons and survivors, so we don't get stuck on rocks, under stalls, windows, etc. Fix Resurrection Loading Bar. After it's loaded, it takes another few seconds for it to be completed. Either fix the timer or the pause at the end. Fix a glitch where survivors interact with light sources or resurrection altars, but the action has no effect. Fix issue with weapons dropping through the map. Evil units coming out of the portal should not be killable until their animation is finished. Demons are being exercised further away from next objective, so survivors are closer to next objective. This has been fixed on previous patches, but it seems to still be a problem. Survivors can figure out where map pieces are spawning from the first map piece location. The devs need to mix this up a little bit more, so they don't become so predictable. Fix aim glitch on console, where characters will at times do a heavy swing instead of aiming and shooting. And finally, the last category, more interactions between demon and survivors. Demons need more options to interact with survivors, different types of traps or trapping different objects. Trees could have a trap that binds survivors temporarily. Cars could be trapped so they either give a scare on survivors or lock them into cars so the car wouldn't move for a short period of the time. Allow demons to dash through cars. Add traps in front of windows and not just doorways. Allow the demon to momentarily snuff out fires and lights. And finally, a sprint button for the demon whilst in spirit form, which would consume infernal energy. So these are all the most voted changes, quality of lives and fixes that you guys have voted for. Do I agree with all of these? Probably not. Do you guys agree with all of these? Probably not. Let's talk on the comments, but let's be civil. I think the game is in a funny place at the moment and it does need tweaking, it does need more refinement. And we know that the devs listen to the community because they have made some massive changes in the past. They're not the best at communicating, but they do listen. So by sending this feedback to them, by discussing this, we can perhaps ensure they know these are real issues. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you all next time.